Now I want to talk to you about investment returns. And this, of course, is particularly germane to equity crowdfunding. And the starting point for that is what is the valuation of the business that you are being asked to invest in? And therefore, what percentage equity is available in this raise, given the amount of money the company is trying to put together? Because this will give you an idea as to how highly valued your business is. And it of course depends on um, the size and stage and the whole characteristics of the business. So there is no one size fits all on this. But suffice it to say, if you're doing a crowdfunding and the valuation is under five million pounds and they're, say, raising a million, then, you know, you, you're in a sort of sensible ballpark. If they're raising a million and they're putting a 50 million valuation on it, that's pretty aggressive. So you really do need to understand where the valuation is and how much equity is being offered. This all ties into preemption rights because going down the, the road, as there are subsequent rounds, you know, you will have the opportunity to continue to invest in the business and maintain your percentage share. And if you don't do that, you suffer what is called dilution. So you'll still have the same number of shares, but because there'll be many more shares out there, your percentage of the pie, even if the pie is getting bigger, your, pie, your share of the pie will actually be getting smaller. And you need to understand how all these things work together uh, as part of the whole package that you're investing in. And this, of course, depends on how many future rounds there are likely to be and indeed the exit valuation. So how much do the owners of the business currently think they will get for the business in three or five or seven years time? And that, of course, is the, the, the valuation that you will share in. And that will be the number that creates the multiple of return on your investment. So it's a really critical number to try to understand. And you can look at examples of similar companies and similar products that have always been sold. But inevitably, there's an element of being in the right time at the right, being at the right place at the right time about all this. And talking about time, that brings me on to time scales. You have to understand this is a long-term investment. This is a three, five, seven, even 10-year investment. And that will have an impact on your return because of the time value of money. So you need to spend some time now understanding how your returns are likely to be, uh, how to, they're likely to come about over time and the return you're likely to make on your investment and those are some of the variables that you need to to grasp and understand if you're going to get some handle on this important issue